Hello friends, welcome back to Shinny's Kitchen Creations. I hope you are all doing well. If you are new here, welcome. And to my regular watchers, thank you always. On the menu today, let's make these delicious zucchini bread. Let's get started. All right friends, so into this bowl, I have one cup of sugar. If you want it sweeter, you can add another half cup or another one cup. And I'm also gonna go ahead and add one cup of oil. I'm gonna add four eggs in here. Okay, so that's four eggs. I like to just pick out any spots I see in the eggs. So I'm just gonna go ahead and whisk up this mixture. Then I'm gonna go ahead and add in one block of cream cheese that's been melted and thawed at room temperature. Gonna go ahead and whisk that in as well. Okay, so this is done. Now we're gonna go ahead and sift our flour, our dry ingredients. So I'm gonna be using two cups of all purpose flour here. I'm also gonna be using some salt, some baking powder, baking soda, and some cinnamon. I'm going to go ahead and just sift this in. The other cup. That's done. Now we're going to be working on our zucchini. So here I have one zucchini that I have washed. So now I'm just going to go ahead and grate this and I'm just using the larger part on my grater. So for a zucchini, we just need two um, cups full. So I'm going to go ahead and squeeze out the excess liquid from here. You can use a cheesecloth to do this. Or I'm just going to go ahead and put it in some paper towel and just squeeze out the excess liquid. Just fold it in like so. And there, look, at all the liquid that comes out. You don't want that in your cake. Okay, so next I'm going to be using some raisins. I mean... That's no measurement there. And I'm also gonna be using some white chocolate chip. You can use regular colored chocolate chips. And you can use some nuts here if you like, some walnuts. And I'm just gonna go ahead and add a little bit of flour to it so that they don't stick to the bottom of the mixture. And if you notice, I'm holding it away from the mixture because I don't want excess flour in there. So there you have it. I'm just coated everything in the flour. I'm just gonna go ahead and dump them in. We're gonna be adding in our zucchini. All right, friends, so I'm also gonna add my vanilla. I could have added it already, so I'm gonna go ahead and add it now. Two teaspoons. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and fold in the flour and the zucchini into the mixture. Now you don't wanna over mix here when you get to this stage, so just fold in. Turn and fold. Make sure to get all of the flour incorporated. This looks good. Now let's go ahead and get this into our pans. All right friends, so I'm using here some small pans. This recipe is gonna make about eight of these. So here I just have four. I'm gonna go ahead and do another batch after this is done. So you can also use two nine by five baking loaf pans. So I'm just spooning in here by cups full. So preheat your oven to 350 degrees. So I just lined the pans with some um, wax paper. You can use parchment or you can just um, grease the pans with some butter and some flour so that they release from the pans easily. So I'm just leveling out the batter here. So I'm going to go ahead and place these into the oven for 35 minutes at 350 degrees. So I'll see you then. All right, friends. So here are our bread out of the oven so now you just want to go ahead and test with a toothpick if it comes out clean and i'm just going to let them cool all right friends so here we are i'm just going to go ahead and slice this up so that you can see all right friends so thank you so so much for watching please like share and subscribe if you haven't already and go ahead and share these with some of your best friends thanks so much bye now